Come on. Come on. Look, come here. Come on. She's a little bit shy. Little Binkley Bunny here today for the DIY. Fun fact, if you have a rabbit, only feed them banana like once a day because it's pretty high in sugar. I don't have any. I don't have any. All right, everyone, so welcome to another episode of Average Guy Does DIY. It's pretty early in the morning, and I'm feeling pretty exhausted right now. So today we're going to be doing a DIY face mask. I'm kind of feeling a bit gross this morning. I got a little, a few little pimps. I don't know if you can see it right here. So my face doesn't really look the best right now. It's breaking out a bit. Okay, I'm here to make a face mask. A DIY coffee face mask apparently reduces puffiness, makes your face look good. If it's for beauty, you know, gotta do it. With this DIY project, it says that there's only four ingredients that you need. You're gonna use two tablespoons of freshly ground coffee, two tablespoons of pure cocoa powder, three tablespoons of yogurt or sour cream. I only had sour cream. And the last thing that you need is honey. One tablespoon, it says, we're gonna do it all together. I also recommend um, drinking some coffee. Coffee is a life savior. So should we get into it? All right. Step one is actually blend your coffee. Let's go down to the kitchen. Here we go. Coffee in the coffee grinder or coffee grinder. One hand on the camera, one hand on the grinder. Whoa. Whoa. Step two, add all the ingredients. I'm gonna need a bowl. So I'm gonna open my dishwasher for a bowl. Oh no, it's dirty. I've got my silver bowl, put two tablespoons in. I don't even know if I have a tablespoon. I only have half a teaspoon, we'll deal with it. Two teaspoons. Oh no, oh no, uh oh. Whoa. Step three, blend them all, like this. The next step is um, to spread it all over your face, let it sit, and after 10 minutes, let it rinse off. Alright people, so I got my mixture complete. It kind of looks like brownie mix or cake mix. I've been super tempted to actually eat it. It's not bad, it's just a bit bitter. If there was a little bit more sugar in it, I think you could actually make this into a cake. If you ever do this, just remember that it does stain. Be a little bit conscious of that because you don't really want to ruin your like favorite v-neck white shirt. So I'm using this shirt that I made. I know that I don't really care if it gets stained to be honest because I'll probably just bleach it again. All right, so here we go. So far, it kind of looks like I um, like I had my birthday party and someone like smashed my face in a cake. Nothing's really happening. It's kind of drying a bit. To be honest, like I don't really understand how this is that good for your skin. All right, so I have it all over my face, as you can see. Spilled some. Actually, kind of fell off my face and hit the hit my uh, hit my carpet. You got to make sure you clean it up right away because it will stain again. I should close these back doors because you don't want to see into my bathroom. Uh, right now what I'm feeling is it's kind of tightening, but I, I don't know, I kind of feel like this is pretty legit. This was a super easy tutorial DIY wise, like this is the easiest one I've ever done. Hope you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, give me some suggestions if you'd like, hit that subscribe button, follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, anything. Uh, see you, bye, bye. Mm, kind of tastes good.